All right, we have first game of the year. We have Appalachian State coming into Chrysler. Um, Juwan Howard's first regular season game. Appalachian State is coming off an 11-win year. Their six-year coach was fired, and the new coach is Dustin Kearns, and he came in from Presbyterian, won about 20 games last last year, smallest Division One school in the country. About a third of his, of his students are student athletes. They were second in threes made, six in threes attempted, and they're about 20th in points per game. Uh, first dude we're going to go over here is going to be Justin Forrest, number one. He's a 6'2", two, two guard. Um, he's going to be the team's top returning scorer. He's about 70 points away from uh, from an 1,000-point scoring career in his junior season, which is pretty good. Um, he is second team in the preseason for all conference this is probably going to be Xavier Simpson's matchup. He can score multiple ways. He's a strong player. He can get to the cup. He's not crazy athletic, but um, he is a bigger guard who, who can finish with contact. He can shoot the ball. He's great off the bounce. Um, he could just score in, in plenty of ways. Really good with his handle, um, especially with uh, Kearns' way of scoring. is going to be pretty good here. Next up here, we have number zero, Isaac Johnson. He's a 6'9 forward. He's the second top returning scorer for App State. Uh, by far their best big man. Um, should get to 1,000 points scoring uh, here in his senior year. Uh, third team all-conference. This is going to be test gear livers. As you can see, he's crazy athletic. Everything is off the, off the uh, bounce here. Um, really good player. Good in free throws last year. Coach coming in may want more shooting. Um, his form is not that bad, so it's going to be interesting to see uh, how he gels and how he fits in with this new coaching staff, which may allow him to um, expand his game some. Really athletic player. Um, next, we have uh, Adrian Delph, number two. He is a 6'3 guard. Uh, he's the third best returning scorer that App State come um brings back here um he had 18 points twice last year as a freshman look for a really big sophomore leap from him the first and fourth scores last year graduated so there's a lot of shots out there just waiting to be had this is probably going to be a brooks or nunez guard here very similar to justin forrest just a bigger guard uh quick agile this is him as a freshman um He's athletic. He, he can get his own shot off. Um, he can create for himself. He can create for others. Just overall, just a very polished type of uh, player. Um, next up, this is probably going to be the most boring highlights that you'll ever see is Hunter Seacat, 6'9", forward center. Rebounder, big guy, below the basket type of dude. This is going to be a Teske matchup. Not sure if he's going to start or not. All depends if that coach wants to go, wants to go a little bit smaller. Um, then we have, uh, I think it's Oshawn Williams here, uh, or they didn't call him Oshawn, number four. He's a 5'11 guard. Cool fact is that his name, Oshawn, is O-S-H-O-W-E-N. His dad is Owen, mom is Sean, so they, they came with that name. Crazy. So, team leader is an energy guy. He's, he, uh, is going to be returning the third in assist guy and, uh, third and steals as well, too. Uh, he is a capable shooter. He didn't shoot it great last year, but he's very capable. With the staff coming in who wants to really, you know, play a little bit faster and get up get up uh, shots, uh, I see a great fit for him. Then um, a few freshmen might play. A few freshmen might play. Uh, one of them is going to be uh, Kendall Lewis. He had an offer from Presbyterian before he came over. Also, he had an offer from the Big 12's TCU, but he chose to stay with App State. Um, very versatile player, can score on multiple levels. He, he, he can attack the hoop. Uh, we'll see how much bigger that he's uh, gotten here, but I believe he's going to be um, one of the two top recruits uh, of this last class here. Can shoot it, can go to the cup. Next is going to be Donovan Gregory. Um, he is not a great shooter. He shoots a little bit of like a set push shot. But uh, overall, another big, strong guard um, who's very capable of getting to the cup, very athletic, um, can finish with 
with uh, contact, um, a D1 body, a D1 type of athlete, and uh, he should be he should be good to go tomorrow. Um, another thing about these highlights, guys may be injured tomorrow. Who knows? So just keep that in mind here. Really good athlete here by, um, yeah, that's good good stuff. Next up is Michael Bibby. He played only the end of the year last year, the last half. He shot 48% from three. I think he's going to be able to have an opportunity to uh, uh, to play this year with, with a coach who loves to shoot and really get up and down. Uh, yes, that's Mike Bibby's uh, son, by the way. Guard, about 6'3". He's a good player. I believe he transferred from South Florida. All right, now we're going to get into some uh, sets here. The first thing I'm going to go through is uh, how they guard the side ball screen. Since Michigan seem like they like to do that a lot. Um, this is Presbyterian here. Dustin Courage is probably going to bring this as well. Where this guy is just going to high hedge. The high hedge really makes the, makes the offensive player... Um, kind of get out of whack and you know not be able to turn that turn that corner. It's going to be interesting to see how how Michigan plans to uh, uh, counter this. All right, now we got some offensive sets. A lot of elbow hits, a lot of naked corners. They love to run. Um, only reason I'm showing press Presbyterian stuff is because this was Kearns. Uh, these are going to be clips from his first and his second year there. Um, a lot of uh, naked corners, and that could be Isaac Isaac Johnson right there with an ISO. Another naked corner here. Guy comes out, little post up. You're going to see a play here later that looks just like that, but it's a counter where the guard comes right back out and hits a three. Little pin down. Once again, two-man game basically by themselves here. Little top ball screen, want to attack. I think this is it right here, where the guy goes goes uh, through. Nope, this is the elbow hit. They love the elbow hit, and they love skipping that ball across. I think this is it here. Nope again. Another drive and skip across. So here's a little false action where, where guys are going to go through. And then this is where that guy comes right back out for a little stagger screen for a wide open three. Really good sets they run. Probably an elbow hit. Yeah. So right there is going to be uh, an Isaac Johnson. Isaac Johnson is a lot better than the big that Presbyterian had here. Another elbow hit and clear out. Now, they Pres Presbyterian last year had a really good big guy who could really stretch the floor. So it's going to be interesting to see these sets um, for their bigger guys where they go to like a five out set or they go to like a four out one in look. Um, and they set some really good screens for them and they really space the floor out. Just their ability to shoot the ball it really just spaces out everything. A lot of space there on the interior. Buckets. Little screen. Make a play. So that could be Isaac Johnson right there. Little pick and roll game, little two man. That's just good basketball. So this was a 20 win team last year. Hand down, man down. This is a set play, little pin down for the big coming out. Little high low action. Michigan shouldn't have an issue in this game. Um, Appalachian State will still be a much better test than uh, Saginaw Valley State was. Should be a good one.